Hospitals, lab, and research, you guys usually purchase dry pellets or small cuts. Come downstairs and let me show you what I'm talking about. In the medical field and with uh, shipping and logistics, a lot of companies will elect to use the dry ice pellets. The dry ice pellets will be able to fit in a small surface area and it won't damage the styrofoam if you guys use that for shipping. This is a, a big differentiator of what to use. The only downside of it is that the dry ice pellets will evaporate faster because they're smaller. In comparison to the block, let me show you what the block looks like. Dry ice block, we also have it with bags and without bags and the dry ice blocks or the cuts, a two by 10 by 10, is gonna last longer because it's again, it's bigger and it's solid. For shipping, we highly recommend shipping within a 24 hour period. If it's anything longer than a 24 hour period, you're gonna need more dry ice.